Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Taj here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to create simple 3D text in Photoshop. Uh, here are some examples of what you will learn today. I use this method a lot in uh, album art that I create, all kinds of stuff, logos. So, wow. Now, first off, you're going to want Photoshop. So, if you don't have it, I have a link in the description for you to download it. And you're just going to, uh, you're going to need WinRAR to extract it. I'll also put a link for that. Um, when you extract the folder, wherever you put it, you can put it in your program files and just create a shortcut of this icon on your desktop. Uh, create shortcut or um, you can put it in your documents whatever anyways when you extract that just hit uh, to open it twice and it is a pretty fast download and as you can see right out of the extraction it opens right up to Photoshop alright so I'm gonna open up our layer panel we're gonna be using that a lot Let's open it fully. Blam. Layers. That's what I want, cut. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna create a new document. File new. Title it whatever you want. 3D name. Tutorial is what I would call this. And the width. 1920 by 1080 that's the average full HD size for like videos or anything like that but if uh, I'm creating it for like an album art usually like go like 800 by 800 or something I mean, depends on you what size you want it to be for this though I'm gonna be making it for a video so yeah um, then you want the resolution to be 300 and your background could be white and just hit OK. And here we have our document. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I just press Control minus. And then you want to unlock your background just cause. Just click it twice and then it unlocks it and press Enter. All right, so we're gonna need our text. Uh, what do I want to type? Um, I guess I will just do my name because I am conceited like that. Wow, and to scale it up, I'm just holding uh, Control and Shift, but you can also select all the text and just make it bigger. I just hover over that T right there, and you can slide it horizontal. And yeah, or you can select the preset sizes, but you know, whatever. Alright, I'm going to make my font color black. Just select your text tool, select all the text, and then the colors up here. And then I want to choose a font. I get most of my fonts from a website called dafont.com. Uh, I use other websites like Font Space, all kind of free font websites out there. Um, I guess I'll use this one. Looks pretty cool. And usually this effect works well with like bolder type fonts. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate the text layer. And then on I'll turn this one off real quick, and then on the bottom one, what I do is add a stroke that is white, and I make it around 8, and then I add a drop shadow. Oh, first off, to uh, get to that effect panel, sorry, I just click the text layer twice, and then this window comes up. So add the stroke make the color of it white and then the size 
is around 67. I'll change that later probably. Because I can't see where it is yet. So then I'll add the drop shadow. Just click the check mark. And then you want to change the blending mode to normal. And the opacity to 100. You want the distance. Or, yeah, we'll just leave that real quick. You want the spread to be 100%. And as you can see, it's coming out of our stroke a little bit. And then you can change the distance of it. Okay, now the key to getting this effect is to make sure that it doesn't overlap on one side. You just want the uh, shadow to be coming through on one side to give it that 3D illusion. And then usually, I will change the color of the drop shadow to a light like gray that's almost next to the white and it just looks like it's a, a shadowed white it looks pretty cool bam so yeah it's almost done and then we want to turn on our top layer and then what I like to do is just uh, add a little bit of detail, add a stroke to it, and I'll pick a color, red, blue, whatever. I'll just go with the red for this one. And the size depends on what you want. I guess I'll go with three pixels. And you can add whatever other effect you want to this top one, like a bevel maybe, and make it chisel hard. Eh, that's what she said. Change the size of it. I mean, you could do whatever you want. Change the opacity of the whiteness. Whatever. That's basically it to the 3D effect, really. I mean, as you can see, it's not completely perfect, like right here. So you just wanna keep messing with the angle of the drop shadow until you get it right. Blam. Jeez, you think I've never done this before? <laughs> okay. Um, blow. That looks cool. And then another thing I do just to add my own like creativity to it, flair. I don't know what you want to call it. I'll add like a gloss type effect to it. And what I do is I come to my rectangle tool over here and I choose the ellipse tool. And then I just draw an oval right over like half of the text. Bow. And then I'll change the color of it to white. And I'll make the opacity of it 20. 20%. And then you want to rasterize it. And then you'll click the layer of your text. You come up here and select the magic wand tool. You'll just click and hold right there and then select magic wand. And then you just click outside of the text to where it selects around it. And then if you hold shift and click inside of the A, just because you want to get the hollowness of it too. And it'll make that selection around the text. And then you can click back to your shape layer where we made our gloss and then just click backspace. And what that's doing is deleting all of the excess uh, white oval that was there before. And then just deselect it. Control D will deselect. And you can change the opacity of the white layer that we made however you want. And that just makes like a nice gloss effect to it. And that's pretty much it really. I mean 
I usually save it as transparent. This looks crazy. Alright, to save your image, if you're done with your text, you can keep doing whatever you want. I mean, sometimes I add like outer glows to it. Uh, it all depends on what you want, really. That looks really ugly. But, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it to save it as a transparent document. What you want to do is turn off your background and go to File, Save As, and select PNG, and then wherever you want to save it. For this, I'll save it to my desktop. Just hit Save, Non Interlaced, and Wow, it's done. You got your um, image, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, there will be more tutorials like this on other Adobe programs. If you could please subscribe. There will be more tutorials to come. YouTube.com slash Tajray. Obviously, you're here if you're watching the video. Um... Yeah.